We're making egg rolls with my friend and old boss, Boom Bob Chun. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy, how are you? Great, come on in. Yeah, yeah we're happy to have you. You remember where the kitchen is? Yeah, I remember where the kitchen is. His parents are stopping by later to show us how to wrap them and tell us about growing up in Cambodia. So, Bun, this is where all the magic happens. This kitchen brings me back a lot of memories. You used to be my boss. Yeah, for one hot minute. <laughs> for your egg rolls, what ingredients do you put in? So we put carrots, onion, garlic, black pepper, white pepper, salt, and mung bean thread or glass noodle. We'll start by peeling the carrots and we'll shred them. Oh, you're fast. Ah, uh, you know, I've peeled a few carrots in my time. <laughs> Did you just go right on the mandolin? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. When was like the first time you can remember making egg rolls? My first memory, like we made them when we were young and mm -hmm. we each had a job. Yeah, what was your first job? Maybe mixing. This was kind of a more of a special occasion food. Growing up, it was me, my two brothers, my younger sister, my mom, my dad, and my grandma. You know, it was a special thing to get everybody together when we could, because my parents were working, they were in school. We got together and we just slowed things down and made egg rolls as a family. Mm -hmm. Has this family recipe changed or anything or? Uh, I mean, I've kind of tweaked it a little bit for the restaurant, but it's pretty close to mom's recipe. His mom's recipe is pretty much the same as the one she grew up with. The biggest difference is in Cambodia, she used taro, a starchy root vegetable native to Southeast Asia and India, instead of carrots. Do you want to mince the garlic? Okay, how much you want me to do, chef? Let's do it all. Oh, dang, okay. But there's a lot of versions of egg rolls. Oh yeah, for sure. So I always talk about Hmong way of making them. Is there a version of like a Cambodian way of doing egg rolls? The size is a indicator of a Cambodian egg roll. Not too big, but not too small. Origins of egg rolls come from ancient China, where they were called spring rolls. As Chinese egg rolls spread to other countries, wrappers, fillings, and sizes changed. The Philippines make theirs long, crispy, and filled with pork, beef, and vegetables. Thailand often includes bean sprouts and woodier mushrooms. Vietnam incorporates seafood and often uses rice or tapioca flour as a base for their wrappers. But one thing remains the same, people love them. So yeah, now we'll soak the noodles. And these are mung bean noodles, right? Mung bean thread made mung out of bean. mung beans. Mung beans are small green legumes. Starch extracted from the beans is used to make translucent noodles called cellophane noodles, glass noodles, or mung bean thread. We'll soak them for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we'll salt the carrot and onion. So chef, why are we salting onions and the carrots? To extract the moisture so we don't want our mix to be super wet. Mm, It'll yep. be problematic in the fryer. When you have all this moisture in the egg roll, it creates steam and that's how egg rolls explode. Just let this hang out okay. about 30 minutes. As a kid, this was my favorite part. So Bun, are we looking for a certain size? Yeah, let's look for a quarter inch, half inch. It's like still one of my favorite things to do. It's just. Very therapeutic, you know? I'll let you know next time to call you up. Well, I had a rough day. Let me just come in and cut some noodles. Yeah. All right, so we're squeezing this mixture to get every little last drop of moisture out. Man, there is a lot of moisture in there. Yeah, it's surprising. Oh, yeah. Onion and- Workout. Onion right and carrots. You know, one of the things I love with the onions and the carrots is it gives a, a, a like a, just a hint of sweetness. Yeah, absolutely. In the egg roll. All right, so now let's add our uh, garlic, salt, black pepper, white pepper. Now, what's the difference between the black pepper and white pepper? White pepper, well, it's a little spicier mm -hmm. and it has this iconic Asian flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you're cooking Asian food at home, you need white pepper. The last thing we'll add is ground pork. After that, we'll just let it hang out, let it marinate together. So do you guys put eggs in here? Uh, we actually don't put any eggs in our egg rolls. Huh, you know, in our, our family recipe, you know, my mom puts egg in there as a binder to, to keep everything together. But I read that the reason why they use, call it egg roll was because you use egg wash at the end to kind of sure. make yeah. sure that it sticks together. Okay. And that's just how it literally got its name. We actually just use wheat and water. So technically it should be called a wheat and water roll. I guess so. <laughs> hey. Hi. Come on in. Beep. We have everything set up here, literally ready to roll. 
It's a wet towel you guys throw on top. Right, right, right. right. These wrappers dry out fast. And so I noticed right away that these are triangle. Sure, yeah. Okay. You buy it as a square. Yep. And then you cut in half. Mm -hmm. And why we like to do it as a triangle is that sometimes, depending on the size of the square, there might be too much wrapper, okay. and it doesn't fully cook when you throw okay. it in the fryer. So at home, you just get all the skin mm -hmm. uh, ready. Yep. So we get about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. For me, anyway, it's like my index finger. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I got sure, big sure. fingers. Sausage <laughs> fingers here. <laughs> Pack it in, yeah. yeah. You have to keep it tight, right? Yep. Then once you get it, you can fold in the sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it kind of looks like a little envelope or a package. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just roll it up. Okay. And take the mixture, Ooh. a little dab. And this is uh, water and flour. Mm -hmm. Grab the end, seal it up, and you got yourself an egg roll. Were your, were your mom here? I'm like all nervous. You this, took... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, mine's not, mine has, mine's not tight enough. Yeah. It's First loose. time, that's okay. Ah, I know. <laughs> like, I feel like my mom right now is just like, I have brought dishonor to us all. Yeah, oh, one more time. <laughs> oh man, I feel so embarrassed. Girl, put that off have... here. <laughs> So, Mrs. Chung, where did you learn how to make egg roll? Well, I learned from my mother. Mm -hmm. So, uh, back home, uh, we made egg roll only occasionally because it's a hard work and it costs money too. Yeah. So, we so both come from different places, Cambodia. My wife, Mrs. Chung, she's from uh, Phnom Penh. And the way they do egg roll, they do different way. And from where I came from, and do different way. How did you guys end up here uh, in Minnesota? When the Khmer Rouge took over in 1975, I went to school in Phnom Penh. The Khmer Rouge was a brutal communist regime that ruled Cambodia from 1975 to 1979. After they threatened to kill me, I escaped all the way to a village. It's called a Kla Krope. It's Kla in a tiger and a cropper mean crocodile. Mm. We live in that village and we don't have anything to eat. They took people to kill every night. If people survive in that place, that will be their, their life is precious. During the Khmer Rouge, nearly two million Cambodians were executed or died from exhaustion, starvation, or disease. In my family, we have six children. My dad uh, got killed and my uh, four brothers uh, were killed. So my mother decided to bring two of us that, who are still alive, run away from the communist regime to the refugee camps. Did you guys meet in the refugee camp or did you guys meet here? Where did you guys meet? Part of it, because I know a little bit of English and they look for translator to work for refugee, for resettlement agency. And one day her family came. And I, I asked them where they came from. He uh, interviewed the, my yeah. family, yeah. 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 And they say that they came from Kla Krope, which is a tiger crocodile village. And we all are crying because nobody would survive in that place. When I finished my contract, and then they sent me to transit camp, and we were on the same plane to come to United States. It's, it's so great to hear your story, because yeah. it's, it's so parallel to my parents, you know? So when I'm hearing this, I'm like, like in a way I'm hearing my parents' story too, you know? Mm. So. Yeah, we know we Hmong, Cambodian, Laos yeah. have the yeah, same means, situation. Like, yeah. yeah, and it's it's amazing to be here at this table, just rolling egg rolls with you guys, yeah. the same way I would with my mom and dad too. You know. Girls here. Yeah. This is my beautiful wife Lucy. Oh. And, hi. and the little oh. one. Yeah. 
Hey, buddy. Hi, Robin. <laughs> well, let's uh, pass us over this plate. Let's get going. I'm yeah. I'm really excited for this. Grab yeah. a couple. Okay. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. It hot. is. Hot, yeah. I think this egg roll must be mine because it looks good and it's wrapped really good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. So delicious. The smaller size, mm -hmm. like it's crispier, you know, because that skin. Oh, I love it. This is, this is so delicious. And we, we pass the egg girls recipes to Wun Bob. And now what you gonna do next? <laughs> pass it to baby Rowan. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Wun Bob, I feel like it's a little homecoming for me to come back to dumpling here, Mr. and Mrs. Chung, just to hear your story. It, it reminds me so much of my mom and dad's story, you know, and then just to be able to be here with Lucy and Rowan, just to see the next generation here. Thank you so much, hey, brother. Thanks like, for coming. Thank you for everything. I feel like you don't gotta go all the way. I know, I always tell all my cooks, don't be a hero. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, we get to, it's like, I always say, when you get to the nub, make sure your hand doesn't become a nub. It's good advice. <laughs> oh, boy.